coin toss. They have deferred the option to the second half. Northwestern will get the football first and will be moving from right to left against a wind which is gusting. And I hope this is not an ominous note out of the Northwest. 8 to 16 miles per hour. It's a perfect day. Temperature 54 degrees. No rain in the forecast whatsoever. Brett Conway will kick off for Penn State. Brian Musso back deep along with Mike Centers. Musso, number 22, and centers averaging 22.4 yards per return. It bounces, and centers in trouble. will pick it up at the two. Tries to go outside, but has run out of bounds near the oh, tree. The lone running back behind him. Autry, off right tackle, and Autry, and let's take a look at that starting Penn State defense. Just met Jeff Perry, who made that tackle. Chris Mazik, Brandon Noble across the front. Todd Atkins, the Lions' leading sack getter at right end. Gelsheiser, Yaboa Cody, and Willie Smith are the defensive backs. Collins, Pittman, Miller, and Kim Herring starting at free safety. Some injuries in the Nittany Lions secondary. I think what we're going to see earlier on, the only chance that Northwestern has to, to compete in this football game is if they hold the ball and they run the ball a lot and they keep Penn State's offense off the field. And I think we're going to see them run the ball an awful lot today. Here's Schnur in trouble, throws out in the flat, does a great job. The pass is complete for a first down to the 34-yard line. Excellent job, far, except on a third and short. Autry again. Into Penn State territory He's across back. the fourth. This is centers, number seven in motion near side. Autry sneaks by again to the 35, the 30. He's down near the pen. This is Autry, and this time he's hit at the line of scrimmage. Coming in to make the play was Brandon Noble, who caught him in the backfield. Tail back on a big third down and three. Delayed draw to Lilly. Lilly hit at the line of scrimmage. He fumbles. It is picked up by Penn State. Kim Herring to the 40, 50. Herring to the 45. Still on his feet. Kim Herring's going to go all the way for a touchdown. At the Penn State 19 yard line. Here you see. He had a hole and really didn't, never got the ball. Never got the ball on the handoff. Todd Atkins knocked it loose. And there goes Herring. There goes it up to 20. Herring makes a great play by getting away from the quarterback. Almost gets knocked over by his own men. Good block by Tony Pittman. And Jason Collins. And what a remarkable turn of events. And how deflating for Northwestern. Western. Here we'll see the fumble again. It looks like he's never really had the football. Uh, and, of course, Perry maybe helped with it a little bit by stripping the ball. He's number 24, lined up seven yards deep. First and 10, Northwestern. This is Autry, finds another hole to the 25, across the 25, and drives his way out to the... Play fake to Lilly. Schnur firing over the middle. Wide over is the tight end. Shane Graham to the Penn State 44-yard. Lilly. He's hit again by Todd Atkins in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Atkins now with three solo tackles. Top of your screen. That's Todd Basic. Has been Todd thrown Basic. to the interception. Delayed draw to Lilly. Lilly is hit hard at the 45 oh, yard. Third and 11. Penn State in the blitz. Schnur with the half roll. Looking throw sideline. And it is caught very near the first down marker. It's going to be very close. And Penn State has yet to take one snap on offense. Here's the roll. Schnur in trouble. He's sacked. All the way back at the 44-yard line. Penetration by Gelsheiser forced him to move, and Jason Collins. Here you'll get to see it was another play fake. Schnur turned around and didn't see anybody follow him at all. There you'll see Collins and Gelsheiser, both of them blitzing. Schnur looking, firing over the middle. He's got a completion inside Third the third down and six at the 29. Schnur in trouble, fires as he did, intercept him. Kim Herring again. Herring to the 40 and dragged down at the 46-yard line. Steve Schnur in the grasp of Willie Smith threw the ball up for grabs, and Kim Herring has become the defensive star of this football game. See when you're driving and you're down with the third. Here you'll see Willie Smith grab a hold of him. He tries to run out of the pocket, makes a bad mistake by trying to throw the ball as he's going down. Kim Herring in a great spot. Uh, at a great time. And two mistakes. Well, I think you have to. They've come in here. And they're excited about this football game. They really have nothing to lose. Uh, they're coming in and have a chance to, to play a good football game against probably one of the best football teams in the nation. Uh, and they have nothing to lose. They've got to be a little devastated. 
Now they've certainly given up two field goal opportunities. You look at Penn State's starting offense, and Brian Milne gets the start at fullback today, not only because of his performance last week with the three touchdowns, but also John Whitman is a bit banged up. He is dressed, but I think Joe Paterno would like to keep him out of the lineup, if at all possible. Matt Rice, Bill Cozeal, Larry Curry across the front for Northwestern. They play a 3-4. Shine, Williams, Sutter, and Warren. First and 10, Penn State. Their first snap offensively. Kajana Carter hit in the backfield. Spins away from one tackle. Tries to get speed to the outside and does so. And frankly, gains four yards when he probably should have lost five. On second down and a long five. Collins to throw for the first time. Throws a flanker screen. The pass is complete to Bobby Ingram. Ingram, 30. Ingram is gone for a touchdown. Bobby Ingram, a 50-yard touchdown from Kerry Collins. And just like that, in two plays, Penn State moves 55 yards. Split out wide, which is something different. And, and you see Collins look right. It ran everybody right. Ingram just snuck under in the, on a quick screen, and there was really nobody there. One or two guys he had to outrun, and that was it. Needed one block, and he got it from Jeff Harding. Second block. Watch number, watch number 50 in the middle there. Just That's a little, a nice little block. Yep. Then it was Bob Egram against uh, a Northwestern linebacker, and I don't think it was much an opportunity for Northwestern linebacker to run him down. Well, Darnell Autry is back in the game. He's come out twice. He's back in there now for Northwestern. Schnur to Luther Morris, 35 to the 40, and out across the 40 to the 43-yard line. 14 to nothing. Delay hand off to Autry. He's in big trouble. He's going to be dropped for a loss all the way back at the 36 yard line. Schnorr fires across the field. Centers will get credit for the catch, but he'll be down. Line. Archie moves up to his own 30. Hunt almost blocked by Penn State. Archie will get away from it. And the pressure Penn State puts on results in a very 50 yard line. John Carter, big hole, 45 and down to the 42 down to yard. Carter now with 13 yards on two carries. Play fake, Carter off to Milne, the fullback to the 35, the 30, and the hard driving like fullback. To be that guy. Here you'll get to see it again. Fake hand off to Carter. Watch Carter make a block there. Not oh, nice oh, block, boy. nice devastating <laughs> block. That's what Heisman Trophy players do. They don't only run the ball. Flanker screen to Freddie Scott, and Freddie Scott has got the football inside. Third down and 10. Blitz outside pass. Caught by Bobby Ingram and dropped. Ingram had it in his hands for a yeah, touchdown. He put a move on the defensive back. He was six yards open on a 10-yard pass play. Conway's 35-yard field goal good. is up and good. Just barely good. Down the line, and the give to Autry. No waste Four there. He comes in the ball game. Third down and four. Schnur can't find anyone open, but he's got plenty of time. Looking, 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 firing deep over the middle. Great, Great. catch for a first down. What a grab by Michael Centers. Now Autry in motion. It's a lateral. It's the flanker pass back to the quarterback. Blocker is ahead. Schnur to the 40, 35, to the 30, and down to the 29-yard line. First and 10 to the 29, though. This is Autry. Inside handoff, breaks a tackle, gets outside, 25 to 20, and down to the pen. Autry, hit at the line of scrimmage and drop for a yard loss. Atkins is having a career day. Here we'll see Atkins just run right through him. And you said hit simultaneously when he made. Blitz, fire, slant pass, incomplete. Looking on the. Kick is up, and the kick is good. So Northwestern, a very impressive drive from their 20 to the Penn State 50, 2 p.m. So pack some turkey sandwiches and plan on spending your Thanksgiving weekends at Penn State. Onside kick right off the bat by Northwestern, but did the ball go 10 yards before it was touched? Yes, it did. Northwestern recovers. 50 following the onside kick recovery. Autry, hole off the right side. Looking to get outside and does so to the 45, the 40, the 35, and finally brought down. Second down, 10. Play fake. Schnur. It's intercepted. Brad Schioli, the defensive end, needs a block from the 35, 30, 20, 15 yard line. Brad Schioli, the freshman. Penn State's third. 
turnover of the day. They'll mark him out of bounds the 17 yard line, but once again, every time he's been under pressure, now he's thrown the ball away. Here you'll see under pressure by Willie Smith, thrown right into Scaoli's hand. I thought he was gonna have an opportunity to run for a touchdown, but I guess First he doesn't have- 10 from the 17 yard line. Kajana Carter to the 15, Carter to the 10, and inside the Wins 10 year the nine yards yards that way. This is Milne to the six and a Penn State yeah. first down. Northwestern quarterback though. Kajana Carter cutting inside and into the end zone for a touchdown. Kajana Carter, the final six yards, a 17 yard drive in three plays. Watch Carter, he's so smooth. He just kind of glides and slides and finds the holes and gets into the end zone. Great block by, watch number 54. Here we'll see it coming right at us. Watch Rivera, there you'll see him knock out a linebacker and Carter just makes his own way into the end zone. The junior college player. Almost a missed handoff, but he does get it off to Autry, who continues just Western. outside the 30. Here's Autry, looking for a block. He's got it, 35 to the 40, and another Northwestern first quarterback, down. his first series. Play fake to Autry. Hughes is in trouble. Scrambles, got a man wide open on the sideline, good for a first down. The pass complete to centers, and he has run out of bounds. Northwestern at the Penn State 46. Fumble snap, and Penn State is on top of it. Marlon Forbes recovers the fumble on the missed snap. There appeared to be movement across the front yard line, which, by the way, equals its worst field position of the day. Gary Collins looking deep to a man wide open. Ingram's got it. 15, and he fumbles incomplete. Incomplete. Phil Collins wide right on third and 10. Collins on the roll. He's got room to run. He's to the 50. First down, Penn State at the Northwestern. Milman Carter in the eye. Kajana Carter up the middle. Still on his feet at the 30. Still driving to the 29-yard line. Carter now 37 yards. This is Mike Archie up the middle of the 25. The 20. Archie with the first down. Still on his feet inside the 15 and down to the 11-yard line. Number two, Mike Archie. Watch Archie. You know, it's a very, very nice situation where you can take the Heisman Trophy candidate out Put another fellow in who probably, if he carried the, the first ball. First half, Kajana Carter, the give to Brian Milne. Big hole! Brian Milne near the goal line, touchdown! Brian Milne, Brian Milne with his second touchdown today, his eighth of the year, and Penn State has scored punt one time, leads it 31-3. to three. Here we see the wall off coming right at us. and Watch Milne just run Bennett right into the end zone. Bennett actually made a pretty nice tackle on him. But I think the field goal was, there, was after the punt. This is Brian Musso with the kickoff return from Brett Conway. And Hughes with time, fires over the middle. It is caught by the tight end. The pass complete. From their own 39, first and 10. Autry in trouble. He'll not break out of this. And once again, 15, clock running, 145 to play. Draw to Autry. He's hit in the backfield and dropped. I guess who? Hand off to off, off to, they played very conservatively. Got some yards off the 35. An opportunity to run that two minutes offense, which uh, really came into play last week to help them win the football game. And the pass to Freddie Scott is way in the half. First. Penn State trying to preserve its uh, lone remaining timeout. Collins sideline, caught by Ingram, and knocked out of bounds at the Northwestern, 37. First and 10. Here's the inside to Mike Archie to the 30, the 25. He'll, He'll have another first, first down, down. Get it down the field a little farther. I think they might run the ball. Oh, good call. Kajana Carter to the 25, 10, 5, touchdown! They struck into the end zone, just like you called it. Right church, wrong. A Penn State 38, Northwestern 3. Just a quick trap right up the middle, and that's all she wrote. Kajana Carter gets the ball and just outruns everybody. Good blocking downfield by Bob, Bobby Ingram. And, and for Brett Conway. Hughes gives to Autry. Autry just had a great first half. He gets nine to the 29. And unless Northwestern uses a timeout, that'll be the end of the first half. Northwestern will just as soon go in and say, how did this happen? Well, it happened through turnovers and some sparkling Penn State offense. We have reached the end of the first half of play. The score, Penn State 38, Northwestern 3. With the wind at its back, Ambrose Fletcher.
And Mike Archie back deep for Penn State. Ball bounds and goes out of bounds. And so Penn State only five minutes and 39 seconds. Every other statistic outside of the turnovers really pales in comparison. Um, a remarkable, as you look at the total yardage, Scott, it just keeps jumping out at you. Five minutes and 39 seconds, and they scored five touchdowns. Well, that and the 24 points off of turnovers. I mean, that's the whole football game right there. You also, as we're looking at the, the defensive t statistics, uh, Wildcat players only have 12 tackles for the whole game as opposed to 35 tackles by Penn State defensive Agrees. people. Quite an experience for a lot of these uh, athletes. Collins has to throw that one away on third and long, and Penn State. Keep playing sharp because you got another game next week. You don't want to carry over uh, sloppy football into the He's next week. more action today than in his career. Here he is again. Got a first down. Gets to the Penn boundary. State 38. Autry again. This time. With a running back's eyes. What he's looking at prior to the play. There's a little swing pass to Autry. Got room to the 35, the 30, 25. And it Hughes looking, firing sideline, and it is caught for a touchdown. The gamble was made on Gamble, going for the interception. Didn't get it, and Chris Coming Gamble. the second half. Stopping Penn State on the first series and then having a nice series and scoring a touchdown. Good block by Kerry Collins. Kajana Carter to the 20 to the 22 yard the far line. side. Carter back in a running back. Here he goes. Got a first down and more to the 30, 35, 40, 45, and run out of bounds. Near mid is a chance to set Penn State's all time record for 100 yard games in a Watch season. Watch the move he puts on number 38. Kajana made a lot of that play by himself. With that great mood he put on earlier. Milne offset to the right. Collins looking. Firing. Man wide open. And Bobby Ingram has got it at the Northwestern. 36 yards. Shippey and Terry Smith. Second and eight. Collins looking. Firing the flat. Freddie Scott to the 25. First down and more. 20. 15. Run out of bounds inside the 15. The Penn State receivers. Not only are they great at catching the ball, but they're great after they catch the ball. All this was is a 10-yard quick. Hits to Freddie Scott. He beats the, the fella covering him. And... Runs another 10 yards. Almost have an opportunity. Mr. Williams in it a wide out on second down. This is Carter up the middle of the 10. Carter to the five yard line. Three minutes. Barry Collins rolling right. Room to run if he wants to. He takes off and gets down near the one yard line. Now he's very close to the first down. He had to get just in. Carter in motion. Milne. Near the goal line. He'll have the first down. Does that not eliminates him. He comes in motion to block. Kajana Carter into the end zone for his third touchdown of the day. Scott Fitzke, you've been around a football game a time or two. Penn State leads it 44 to 10. Um, Kajana Carter's third touchdown today is 18th of the season, all on the ground. Well, that's a great call because you, you got well, but through two very bad interceptions and was yanked out of the game. Here comes Darnell Autry, who has just uh, been four out of six, has not yet thrown interception. Penn State blitzing. Hughes in trouble. Sack back at the 11-yard line. Todd Atkins, who clearly is the defensive player of the game, along with Kim Herring. Here you see the difference between Hughes and Schnur. He learned a lesson from the first quarter. Schnur, instead of trying to throw the ball, into one of the Penn State players' hands. He decided the team to is pretty much out of the ball game. Olsheimer is the tight end. This is Mike Archie. Across the 35 to the 30. Lead what should be an excellent 95 Penn State team. Richardson in trouble. He's going to be sacked. Well, Back in the end. Feels good. Feels solid. Autry breaks tackles again. Gets a game. first down. Tim Hughes on the rollout. Evades one potential tackler, gets five to the 30. No play, second down and four. Hughes, pump fake, he sacked. Willie Smith, blind side, I don't think Hughes ever saw him. Here, watch the quick pump fake. It's only a two-step drop. Quick pump fake to center. Centers who actually... Centers goes in motion to the far side, and this is Darnell Autry. Hit in the backfield and dropped for a loss by Todd Atkins. Second down, 15. Hughes fires incomplete, looking over the middle. Penn State drawn again. There's the 
Hand off to Autry, who's very close right, to the it first. It's not down. a charge time, out of malfunction of the 25 second clock. Hughes throws complete, short Send game. Message. We're not real happy with your play. Autry again. This time hit at the line of scrimmage. Ball practice. Stop. Hughes, he's and sacked for a loss. Willie Smith, his second sack of the day, his seventh of the year. I can't believe what I, well, go ahead, Scott. Well, it's pretty easy to beat you, beat <laughs> no one somebody when you. nobody blocks you. For Just some reason, Northwestern's going to attempt a 52-yard field goal here instead of going for it. It's no good. Sam Balancisi, who has one today and is a very good kicker, very much the, the same, although I do think that Penn State's receivers this year are better than the 82 group as a whole. Right now, he says that Karen Collins is the number one quarterback in college football. Chris Campbell in motion. This is Pitts. Inside, fighting his way to the Northwest Penn State schedule, including today's walloping of Northwestern. And the Nittany Lions with a record of 10 and 0. Northwestern now will go past Illinois on the bottom with only Michigan State, barring the perfect season heading into the bowl season. January the 2nd at Pasadena. And that is the tail of the tape football version. One close call. Well, two really, 10, 45, 10, that's where we're at now. Hughes looking, throwing, got his tight end for a first down. That's Hughes fires, complete for a first down. University late. I guess they didn't have time to put him in. Hughes in trouble and fires, but he gets it Seven at the feet in the afternoon. Third down and three Northwestern. Jackson, first down. All over the Northwestern Eight. quarterbacks, really it's the running game they haven't been able to stop. This is Jackson. Big hole up the middle, 30, 25, and inside the years. Uh, they've just allowed too much rushing, too many yards rushing. Jackson again. A gate. Jackson. Now they signal a touchdown. Fifth delay to the Northwestern sideline. Sizzy, he'll kick it away. Clock does not start till the ball's tucked in the field of play. Stephen Pitts. Mike McQuarrie at quarterback. This is Ambrose Fletcher with a carry. And a handoff to the fullback who slips and falls, but no matter. That will signal the end of the football game. Penn State awarded a first down, but more importantly, they are awarded their 10th victory of the season as Joe Paterno congratulates Gary Barnett. This Western team really was scrapped.